Hello everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And from this section on for a couple more tutorials, we're gonna be working with color. And the first thing I wanted to go over with you guys are how to change your color settings. And some of this might be more advanced and you might not even need to ever use it if you're just working on small projects. But when you start getting into the big leagues and even sometimes in the smaller ones, you're going to need to know what this stuff is. So it's good to have it in the back of your mind. So we're going to work with some color settings. So what we're going to do is go to edit. And we're going to go to color settings, which is down here. And here we go. Now, Illustrator does its best to manage the, its color for you. But sometimes you need to have like a certain color requirements that say your um the person that hired you is your client what they they have certain ones that they need to use that they're using all the time and that's because they have like a certain printer that they got to print on or something or another so let me go over these you got settings here and these settings have uh, a bunch of different um, color settings that are pretty much presets and I'll go over what they are for you. The first one we got is monitor color and that's useful for video and on-screen content and it sets the RGB working space to your current monitor space. Now all this might not make sense but I'm just gonna go over it. I'm not gonna be able to go over what everything is and if you ha if you're having some trouble just go on to something like Wikipedia or just Type it in in Google if you're if you're not sure what everything means. Um, sometimes you actually learn a lot more when you have to go and look up something you're on your own. But I'm going to give you a general overview of the color settings. I'm not going to go too far into it. Now, the default usually is North America General Purpose 2. And that's useful for screen and print content in North America. Um, the next one is North America Newspaper. And that's uh, common for newspaper press conditions in North America. So the CMYK uh, values are preserved. Now CMYK is for printing out things. It, RGB is good for like video and websites and stuff like that. So if you're going to print something out on some kind of printer or something like that, you want to use CMYK. Now if you're working for and you're creating stuff in Illustrator for a newspaper, you might want to change your color settings to North America newspaper. The next one is North America Prepress 2. And that's common for printing conditions in North America. And the default RGB color space is set to Adobe RGB. And you'll have to look what, up what, those, uh, what Adobe RGB is. The next one is North America Web Internet. And that's useful for non-print content on the web in North America. So set it to what you want. But for the most part, you can just use North America General Purpose. And that's pretty much useful. And then you do that and you hit OK. And that'll select that for you. Now, if your client has something that they've already came up with, with a, a custom settings, you'll hit up Load. And then you'll go find wherever it is and load it in to your new settings and then these things will change down here. This, we've got working spaces. Now these are to set some custom stuff. The f main thing that I always use and most people are gonna use is this sRGB and then this IEC blah blah blah, all these numbers. But there are other things. We've got Adobe RGB, that's made in 1998. That's uh, outdated. And not everybody, you can use it for some things, um, but I guess it's really not to, uh, I don't know, I just usually keep my own sRGB. Uh, let's go check out some other things. CMYK. Now this has got a whole bunch of different other things, and I'm not going to go over what every one of these mean, because you'll never use most of these. But if your client tells you to use a certain one, then you can go in here and pick it out. I hope I didn't just change it because I wasn't sure what it was actually under. Oh yeah, it was that's that that's the default. Okay. Um, next one, color management policies. 
So color management policies control how Illustrator works with color when opening files that don't have a color profile or one that doesn't match the ones of your current current settings. So if I have something that has a color profile of Adobe RGB and then the CMYK is this coded one, then this color management policy is going to tell me or going to tell Illustrator what to do with those. So we're going to preserve embedded. You can turn it to off and it won't do anything, or you can convert it to working space. And those are just up to you. Um, the next one is CMYK, same thing. You'll have to go ahead and look these up if you're really into it, but pretty much keep those at keep those at uh, the def defaults and Illustrator will do a pretty good job for you. Now I can click more options here. And that's just going to specify some conversion options. And I, honestly, I don't know anything about this. So I'm not going to talk like I know anything about these. So I'm just going to click on less options so it's not there. But if you ever get confused again, you can hover over these and it gives you a little description down here in this description box of what this actually does. So there you go. Um, that's a little bit on the color settings and uh, what you need to know. And if you want to know a lot more about color settings, I'm not going to get into these too much because these are just mainly for beginning uh, Illustrator. And this stuff's a little more advanced. If you want to know more, go ahead and check out. Just type it in on the Internet or look up uh, on Adobe's website and they'll tell you a lot more about it. So thanks for uh, watching this tutorial. And hopefully some of it made sense. Um, pretty much if you don't know what you're doing, keep it on the defaults. Keep it on North America General Purpose 2. But you can use those preset settings that I showed you um, in the first part to switch in between. And you can get the pretty much the best thing. So thanks a lot for watching. Everybody have a good day.